the global collapse box chain retailers. Your favorite store, the one where you found the best deals and cherished memories, may be on the brink of vanishing. In the ever-evolving world of retail, a storm is brewing, and it's causing some of the biggest names to crumble. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill business turbulence. It's a seismic shift that could reshape America's economic landscape. In this journey, we'll navigate through the treacherous waters of the retail world, exploring a series of major retail chains that are staring into the abyss. Big Lots, Big Challenges Now let's zoom in on Big Lots, a retail giant with an extensive product range that spans from furniture to groceries. At first glance, you'd think they have it all, but beneath the surface, trouble is brewing. Sales are plummeting, down by a whopping 10% year over year, even as bargain-hungry consumers roam the aisles. Big Lots operates a staggering 1,425 stores across 48 states, but the dark cloud of unprofitability looms over hundreds of them. Right Aid, Prescription for Trouble the trusted pharmacy chain that's been a go-to for millions of Americans. However, the spring of 2022 brought grim tidings as they announced the closure of 145 stores, with more ominous closures looming in 2023. Forbes reports that over a hundred stores have been underperforming for several quarters, hinting at a financial storm. Right. AIDS quarterly loss in December 2022 exceeded $67 million, and they're bracing for even greater losses in 2023. Bed, Bath & Beyond, the unmaking of a home goods giant. Bed, Bath & Beyond is a name synonymous with home goods and endless 20% off coupons. After years of struggle, the retail giant finally filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and embarked on a journey of complete liquidation. That's right. All 360 Bed Bath & Beyond locations and its 120 Bye Bye Baby stores are set to close their doors by June 30th. This isn't just about economic uncertainty. It's about a series of bad decisions by the management that led to this downfall. Party City, the party comes to an end. Prepare to say your final goodbyes to Party City. At the beginning of 2023, the purveyor of party goods and decorations declared bankruptcy. The reasons behind this downturn are a mixture of soaring inflation and shifting consumer spending habits. When the pandemic disrupted in-person party celebrations, Party City felt the financial pinch. In November, the company announced its intention to trim the corporate workforce by 19%, revealing projected losses of up to $200 million for 2022. Dollar General Dollar General the self-proclaimed America's Neighborhood General Store is rapidly fading from the landscape of U.S. cities. This discount retail giant recently confirmed the closure of several locations in California, Colorado, Indiana, and Ohio. According to the U.S. Department of Labor's Occupational Safety and Health Administration, Dollar General has repeatedly exposed workers to unsafe conditions. A large chunk of CVS stores will vanish by the end of the year. CVS's CEO, Karen Lynch, dropped the bombshell that the company intends to close 900 stores nationwide. The reasons are numerous, but they all point to an outdated store format. With declining traffic, a weak product assortment, empty shelves, supply chain woes, and dwindling sales, CVS is feeling the heat. Amazon Go and Amazon Fresh. A surprising retreat. Amazon, the behemoth of e-commerce, is making an unexpected move by shutting down numerous Amazon Go and Amazon Fresh stores. These cashierless grocery shops were once heralded as the future of retail, but it seems Amazon now sees a different path to market dominance through Whole Foods. Last month, several Amazon Fresh stores stood vacant, signaling the abrupt downfall of these chains. It's a retreat that's happening faster than anyone anticipated. Amazon's focusing its resources on Whole Foods, which still boasts over 500 stores. Nordstrom, department stores on thin ice. Nordstorm, a name synonymous with high-end retail, is treading on thin ice. With a history of luxury shopping experiences, the company recently made headlines by closing its operations in Canada. 
It is also slashing dozens of locations in the United States, with a staggering 40% sales collapse in 2022. Analysis predicts that Nord Storm will face intense pressure in 2023, especially as another economic downturn looms. The Children's Place. Downsizing Dreams. The Children's Place, a familiar name in children's apparel, is scaling back its brick-and-mortar presence with a heavy heart. In total, the Sakaka's base retailer plans to close 265 stores this year, cutting its footprint in half. The apparel retailer had already permanently shut the doors of 586 stores, including 315 during the initial throes of the pandemic. In fact, the Children's Place ended 2022 with only 613 stores, marking an 8.3% decrease from the previous year. Corner Bakery A Recipe for Financial Troubles Corner Bakery the fast, casual cafe chain known for its soups, sandwiches, salads, and pastries is facing a recipe for disaster. Offering an extensive menu may sound like a winning strategy, but for Corner Bakery, it's part of the problem. As of now, the chain has significantly fewer locations compared to 2021, when over 200 were operating nationwide. What's cooking at the Corner Bakery is a legacy of debt, amounting to $33.8 million. Inherited by investment firm, Penzi's group wanted to acquire the chain in 2020. Mattress Firm, a bedtime story gone awry. Remember the familiar sight of mattress firm stores darting the shopping landscape? Well, those stores are vanishing faster than a dream upon waking. Mattress Firm, previously the go-to destination for all things sleep-related, emerged from Chapter 11 bankruptcy in 2018 with a significantly reduced footprint. But now, it's teetering on the edge once again. Express. Fashioning a new future. Prepare to step into the world of Express, a retailer that has catered to the fashion-forward crowd for years. But now, the winds of change are blowing through the fashion industry, and Express is at the forefront of this transformation. Express has targeted the 1830 age groups with significant disposable incomes, offering trendy clothing that has resonated with many. However, a backlash has been brewing due to the limited sizing options, particularly for men who don't fit the extra slim or slim categories, on the woman's side, while there are options for those with different body types, many items lean towards those who are particularly weight-conscious. Tuesday morning, the dawn of bankruptcy. Our journey through the turbulent retail landscape brings us to Tuesday morning, a place we can find hidden treasures at discount prices. But recently, the morning has turned gloomy for this retailer, as it filed for bankruptcy once again. With a plan to close a whopping 264 out of its 464 stores, Tuesday morning finds itself in a precarious position. The reasons behind its second chapter bankruptcy filing in just three years is clear to many stores, many of which were located in unprofitable areas. And with that, we come to the ending of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, like, share, and subscribe to our channel World Class Luxury.